Street Champs, come get put on. Today I'm in here with FND's Don Otto Yo. and Shaster. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yo. Hell yeah. How you guys doing today? Man. Excellent. Yeah, yeah we good, bro. No complaints. You feel me? What do you say? Just killed the interview with a Shaster. Man, yeah. shout out to you for that again. Hell yeah. Thank you. Oh, went, thank you, bro. He's on thank the ladder you. mission. Oh, you said cute. I thought you said thank you. Not facts. Yeah, we... I'm going to try it one more time. We got y'all with us now, so we're going to... If it works, then... We got them with us, so you know. <laughs> we'll get high, but... Regardless, uh, what were you up to before this, bro? Before this, bro, uh, I actually just came from shooting the video. Really? Yeah. Yeah, we was... Uh, I don't even know what side of town we was on, but I got this cold location for uh, one of my newest videos. Very cool people. They got me right. So, definitely. It's for a song called um, Until Next Time on my next tape. What's that, what's that tape called? Locked In. Locked In? Yeah. That's been, uh, that's been the mode lately, so we locked in. Hell yeah, hell yeah, um, Shaster. What were you, you? I think you already said what you were doing before, what you were doing before this on your interview. So we don't really have to no, for sure, get for into sure. all that again. I was right there with brother man for sure, for sure. But yes, sir. hell yeah. You shot a what? You said five videos, eight so, already. Eight yeah. already. To- collectively, yeah, collectively. But solo five. Solo. I feel like around like four or five. I definitely gotta uh, complete some this afternoon. Like I have like some halfway done videos. Mm. So yeah. Go get some more shots for sure. Mm-hmm. So. That's fire. Busy ass, sure. busy ass schedule. Yeah, you're Literally. you're from uh, Austin too. Yes, sir. Born and raised. Born and raised. Nice, nice. Uh, how old are you? Twenty three. Twenty three. Mm-hmm. Damn, you guys are all twenty three. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wow. All in the same grade. We're all in the same grade. That's how we met. Type yeah. Shit. Oh, really? Yes, sir. Oh, okay, okay. I see. Mm-hmm. I see now. Yeah, Austin really like. It's a big city, but it's really that small town feel to it, like. If you were from Austin, there would be somebody like it's mutual friends everywhere. It's somebody that knows you that I know. You mm. know, that's really how it is. That's a very small, big place, or big, small, whatever. Mm-hmm. Small, big place. That, like a pond. So, for sure, for sure. Mm-hmm. For sure. Um, all right. Before we get before we get into all that shit again, fucking. Um, let's get into your childhood and shit. Uh, growing up, do you have both parents? Didn't I ask him not to ask me that? Oh. Did you? Uh, I, 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 I don't know. Shit, my bad. You don't. Know next question. Yeah, I kind of. We could cut that out though. All right. Next question. All right. What about uh, siblings? Siblings, yeah. I got a. Uh, I got a brother and a half blood, uh, brother. You know what I'm saying? And then I got a bunch of brothers. <laughs> you feel me? Uh, really? For real, for real. I got okay. a bunch of brothers, but um, maternally, my my brother and my uh, half brother. For sure, for sure. Um, all right, growing up, growing up, what kind of what kind of kid were you? Man, the annoying kind. I was uh, I mean, I thought it was funny, I guess, but I used to get in trouble over just stupid shit. You know what I'm saying? I would be the first one, uh, fucking off in class if the substitute is in there, <laughs> shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Really, just. I don't know. You got in the shit like everybody else did. You feel me? I mean, I wasn't terrible. So I would say, but yeah, I would say, yeah, annoying. Probably, yeah, I was a little goofball. <laughs> what age did you guys meet? Man, initially, initially we met in like seventh grade. No, facts, basketball. Yeah. Facts. You know what I'm saying? But we really locked in like freshman year of high school. Really? Freshman year for real? Yeah, we had that one class. I was at Eastside, sophomore. That was sophomore? Yeah. Sophomore. Yeah. Okay. Sophomore year, so it's like 16. 16 for sure, for sure. That's around the time you was really doing that shit, right? Man, that was before I really started dropping. Okay. That was, uh, what age was you when that shit? When it went viral, that was like first semester of the senior year. Okay. okay. What'd you go viral for? Um, So me and my other brother, Rick, you know what I'm saying? We started, well, really, we had dropped one song in high school, like our first song on a blank SoundCloud. <laughs> and uh, that song didn't go viral. It probably has like 9,000, 10,000 plays now. But back then, like, 
it it gained a lot of attention in like the hallways and shit. But after that, um, I had this song called Making Plays that really just Fourteen. I never would have expected it. It was just one of those songs. Nobody was you know, I really I kinda didn't even like the song. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, and me and Ro just kept going back to back, like viral, like you know what I'm saying? Moses? Nah, Rick. Oh, I think you said Rico. Moses. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Rick or man. Uh, <laughs> Did you not say Moses though? Nah, bro, I said bro. Oh, I thought you said okay, my <laughs> Hell yeah. But yeah. Hell yeah. Um All right, we're kinda we're kinda skipping ahead really fast. Fucking so. Alright, getting back into things. Um did you graduate high school? Yes, sir. Did you go to college? I'm in college right now. Oh, hell yeah. No, what? Shout out to him, but that's a trooper. Yeah, that's man. Right in real time. Time to get the fuck shit. up out of there. Really. But, um, yeah, I'm in college right now. At Texas Southern. Oh, the nice. Texas Southern University. How you, throw that down? you know. What are you studying? Business, uh, business management. Oh, hell yeah. Mm-hmm. For sure. So, fucking, you got, a. I mean, I guess I guess when you talk, when you listen to a lot of successful people talk, they're like, "Yeah, you shouldn't really have a plan B. You know, your plan, your plan B should be my plan A is gonna work. Like music's gonna work. Right. But uh, your plan B, I guess, is like, you know, I'm gonna get my education and and whatnot. It's not even like a plan B because it's like, I really I wanted to go to college because I always told myself I was like I want a degree. Like I always wanted one, you know. Um, and just me making music, it just shows like. Like, you could literally do what you want. You feel me? Like, if I say I want a degree, I'm going to get my degree. But primarily, like, I'm invested in rapping, you mm-hmm. know? So that's just, you know, just something that I can say that I did and also, like, you know what I'm saying, set a good example, you feel me? Mm-hmm. Some people feel like they can't rap and go to school, you know? Excuse so, me. Yeah. That's also, my don't on. forget to talk about how you using it. And if you did say this, my bad. But how you using the degree too? I'm not even using it. No, I'm, yeah, so I'm, like I'm not using the degree. Like you know what I'm saying. No, too. You help the music taste. I thought that was the. Whole, well, in a sense, it can help like, the learn the skills at least type shit. Maybe you see the business aspect type shit. That's all hands on, bro. I ain't gonna cap. For sure. That's all hands on. Uh, we're learning as we're going, especially. Um, you know, it's only so much you can learn through, like, a book. Not down. So, uh, I don't I don't necessarily need a degree to do what I want to do in music, mm-hmm. you know? Cute here. Yeah. Oh, he's here? He's at yeah, the door? I got you. Oh, word. Thanks, man. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, I guess we'll just let him in. Fucking yeah. light is here. Finally, thank God. Now we can smoke. It's been... Dire without it. <laughs> Yo. And he's got the blue blue drink. Wow. Good hands. Wait, will you lock that shit? Good hands. Nice. I'm just gonna lock the top one. You mind passing that lighter after you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. rolling type shit. All right. Yes, sir. All right, back on track. Um, lighters. <laughs> <laughs> when did you get into smoking weed? Bro, I started smoking weed literally. I started smoking weed after high school. That's crazy. I never, yeah. I never, uh, I was never interested in it, but, you know. Niggas ended up smoking weed, and I actually don't even smoke now, or I hardly do. I lie, but like I hardly do. Very seldom. Like, Very. I always ask them just out of courtesy type shit, cause F and D gonna smoke like a chimney. So yeah, you know, I'm gonna ask bro, but very seldomly he gonna hit that blunt for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. What about uh anything else? You you recreational on anything else? Alcohol or anything? Man, here and there, of course. Like when we link up. You know, of course, like, being on vacation and shit like that, you know, for so recreational, like, it needs to be, we get right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Never left. Definitely. Um, I know in Austin, we got, like, our own, like, brands of liquor. Like, 
Uh, Tito's. Oh yeah, I love yeah. it. I fuck with some Tito's, bro. Tito's is from Austin, Texas. I've heard that. Yeah, I've yeah. Seen, it's on the bottle. I've seen, I've seen that shit. I didn't know that. And I'm from the so is it cheaper there? <laughs> That's a good How question. How much is it over here? Uh, probably you can get like one of those regular bottles for like seventeen to eighteen dollars, maybe like twenty dollars. That's around the same. Well, we could get twelve, right? It's like twelve. No. How much is it? Am I capping? How much is it in Texas? Expensive. For real. So but it's cheaper here? Damn. Maybe I'm capping. Maybe I'm capping and it's and it's a little bit more Maybe expensive. Maybe it's cheaper here though at the same time. So, you know. Y'all Military's Day too, so. I buy more I buy more beer with the, we're sponsored by this liquor store and I, I buy more beer with our sponsorship. Shout out Big Bear Wine and Liquor. Oh yeah. Shout out Street Champs. Yes, sir. Yeah, if you mention uh, Street Champs online, you get no delivery fee, so you don't have to get a DUI anymore. What he said, but yeah. don't drink and drive. Oh, wow. Exactly. That's, no, don't do that, though, real talk. It's free, different. Free delivery. That is different. That is different. Call me. <laughs> Mom, pick me up. <laughs> um, all right, so started smoking weed. You said at 16. Not nah, 18. 18. Yeah. Fuck. This weed is fucking getting my numbers all fucked up. You good? You gotta recuperate real quick. You good? All right. You know, at what point uh, did you become uh, FND? Man, slick. Like we've always been like family. Like you know, uh, I linked up with. Of course, I knew I knew Marco since we were little, but uh, for I real, started, yeah, I didn't know that. Like, like, right? We who? like what's little type shit? Like, like elementary? Yeah, like ten, eleven. I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. but, like but middle we school. We ain't liking shit. until probably like tenth grade, for tenth sure. eleventh grade on the music tip. But we both had, they had um, FND. FND's always been there. We were YBE Yuck Boys Entertainment. That was me, Rico, and Max. You know what I'm saying? That's the other homie back home. Shout out Max. You feel me? Shout out, shout out Rick, my bad. And so, um, we just, we blended. Like, we used to go half on studio sessions. We would go after school every day, taking the bus, um, just to record for four to six hours, you know. And we did a lot of work back then. Started growing as artists. Um, YB turned into a BCG. And then what's BCG know what stand for? Facts. Uh, BCG baggage <coughs> claim gang. What was I'm sorry? Baggage claim gang, like baggage claim at the airport. Mm-hmm. You know, so we had that, and then said it was a point in time where I was just like, bro, why don't we just like come together? Yeah, I was like, why don't we just be under one umbrella? You know, but at the same time, BCG may be a thing. You know. Just uh, as like a little sub brand or something like that, but like the fam is the fam, you feel me? So, and even like you said, it's a branch out thing. At the end of the day, it's like it's you feel when me? you locked in, you locked in with us type exactly. shit. Exactly. Like he locked in talking about niggas that still claim BCG or maybe Rick. You know what I'm saying, Rick? You feel me? That's gang type shit. You know what I'm saying? So that's if we wanted like a clothing line or something. No cap. You know what I'm saying? No cap. Duffel bags, so bag is clean. You, you feel me? me? That'll be nuts. Nice. I think he's trying to hand you that blunt. My bad, brother. Um, you know, being a appreciate you. Being a family or a whatever, you know, I feel like people are quick to label that a gang. You mm. guys ever encountered that? Yes. Just uh, just offer of the connotation that, you know, like it's just a certain type of stigma that's going on right now like you know like everybody has their little cliques and everybody's using these letters to identify themselves but can i interject real quick yeah <coughs> at the same time the people that say that shit <coughs> don't know us because at the same time you have people that we grew up with that are happy to still see us together because they know we've been locked in yeah and i don't want to say surprised but when you drop shit like my shit, and they see that shit like, oh, these niggas are still getting to it since middle school, but now they doing bigger yeah. shit. And now we on this shit, when they gonna see this shit, you feel me, so. They they happy for us that we still going. You feel me? You know, and that we're a unit. Because they know us, because they know. know we been locked in, they know we genuine, they know we 
we was always together type shit. Yeah, so that's that's cool, you know. But what were you saying about the uh, the gang thing? Yeah, I would just say like it's just a uh, that's what people will assume from the outside looking in, but it's more than like you know just letters to us like family number divide is the unit like you know what I'm saying it's the foundation, you know. So that's what it means to us, hmm. you know. It's bigger than the music shit. No cat, the For music's sure. the bonus. For sure. Are there a lot of gangs in Austin? I'm not. <sighs> I'm in the shit, bro. So I can't Gangs. tell you nothing. I know, I know Bloods and Crips niggas will claim it, but I don't know anything specific. We, I, I wouldn't say in Austin like they're really banging. We got neighborhoods though. Yeah, we have really neighborhoods. We got neighborhoods, thing, but think. it could be like the type of dynamic that we have. Uh, if somebody had a problem with somebody else, from okay, these people claim this camp, but these people can't claim this camp. We're not like anywhere else like, oh, if it's fuck him, it's fuck all of y'all. It's like this person on this side, you know, on the other side could be cool with two or three people over there, but they don't kick it every day, you know? So it'll be like, whatever y'all got going on is between y'all. And unfortunately, like, you know, sometimes that shit will escalate and stuff like that, but that's no, it's not, you know, unless it's like a bunch of them, like, a bunch of them got a bunch of problems with each other type stuff. Then it'll be like that, but that's I wouldn't nah. We ain't we ain't just Big banging. gangs type shit, nah, for sure. You know? Mm-hmm. For sure. It's a cool place. It's a cool town. Supposedly y'all got gangs. I was gonna say it's just like Colorado, but supposedly y'all with the shit for real. Not saying y'all shouldn't be, but it's chill as fuck here. Yeah, yeah. I mean these I you think know. there's a rap group in uh color in Denver that just called the FBP. Few what but plenty. Few but plenty. Yeah, they just got That's indicted cool. by the FBI for uh, a bunch of Rico drive-bys and like stuff. I I necessarily don't want to speak on it too much because I don't really want to say there's too much right. ro- wrong things on it. I want, but they there a lot of them went to prison for. That's tough. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. But um, you know, Colorado. Not us. We, we keep it light. And you know, I I I, I underestimated true. it until I heard about it. I still have yet to seen it, but. You know, I'm open to exactly. new stuff because people from the outside of Austin look at it as, like, you know, like a green city. But at the same time, it's not all good and it's not all bad. Like, coming from Austin to Colorado, it was like, damn, bro. Like, <laughs> I'm talking about the houses is extra nice over here. Mm. Lawns mowed daily. We driving by people that's taking care of the community. Y- y'all grass not real, bro. It's not real, bro. It's not. Someone was mowing the grass while we were recording the uh, the freestyles. Facts earlier, facts, facts. Yeah. But we didn't see anybody. Did you see somebody actually mowing the grass, or did you just hear them? No, it's actually mower? my uncle. Really? Yeah. Okay, I was about to say, because I don't... I need convincing that this is a real place, bro. For real, for real. Okay, that yeah. should be growing. Definitely, definitely a, a culture shock. Mm. Walking into Colorado. But <laughs> it's very nice. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Hell yeah. Love having you, man. Fucking... You know, people from Colorado... We're just like, oh, it's so boring here. But everyone that comes by is like, damn, it's so pretty here. The air is so good here. Man. Shit like that. Yeah. It's like, yeah. green or shit? For real, for real. <laughs> Come to Austin, bro. For, have you, you said you've been to Austin? No, bro. never been to Austin. Come bro. to Austin. You said you've been to Dallas and... No, San Antonio and uh, Corpus Christi. San Antonio. Like I drove Corpus. there. Okay. okay. I'm talking about right now. It's construction everywhere. <laughs> the roads are tight. Um... Uh, in some places, in other places, it might be like some space, but like it's definitely like a different, it's definitely a different dynamic for sure. What are you doing when you're not making music? Sleeping. Sleeping? Yeah, I sleep a lot. I need to get out of that. <laughs> or, yeah, for sure. I just be kicking it. You got a girlfriend? Mm mm. Mm-hmm. No, sir. When was your last girlfriend? Bro, a minute ago, senior year. High school. Damn, this guy's toxic. This guy's fucking. It's like, he what got is that? you. That's, he got you. It's like 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. It's like five years. He Bro, got you. Because I don't, I don't be. I don't be wanting no relationship. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's been plenty of, like, you know, like, <coughs> little. Like, Bro was saying, like, little situations. Mm-hmm. It'll be like some little feelings or something. Then we just end up being cool. Like, you know what I'm saying? But. To really just, I don't know, to be in a relationship, but like, I don't know, like, I don't focus on like, 
yeah, I'm focused on music right now. You know, I'm focused on what I'm trying to do. It's just very taxing. Yeah. Just to be with somebody, period. I did learn the sidetrack. Well, did, uh, uh, well, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. What uh, Lil Papa say, hmm. he said, they say it's cheaper to keep it. I think I'm better off leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Some shit like that, you know. That's yeah, but, but, you know, as an artist, you know, as a up-and-coming artist, I'm sure you, you get a lot of female attention. You just fucking throwing them off or you, are you fucking bro that's the thing bro it be it's like 50 50 bro because then it'll be like i'll start speaking to him and like nigga i don't know bro like i gotta i gotta look cold as mouthpiece so it'll be just like the shit i'll be saying and then it'll be the shit i'll be saying they'll be like okay um they give me their attention or whatever but it'll be like i don't know they just you know, they think I'm on the same type of time as everybody else on. Like, oh, like, this nigga just want to do, like, one thing like everybody else, mm-hmm. you know. But Talk nobody. about his feelings. Yeah. Allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, you know, it just be that. But, like, other than that, like, of course, yeah, like, nigga get on social media when a nigga doing good and, yeah, nigga get that attention Man. and shit. But it be so, it be so brief, mm-hmm. you know, so I don't be... Caring about none of that. Cause it's gonna come and go. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, I uh, can't relate. You know, I'm fucking. There's no podcast baddies yet. <laughs> Maybe one day. Stop the cap. Stop you the know, cap. I'm not lying. Allegedly. Uh, allegedly. But um. All right. So like, I guess uh, coming in from. Coming, getting back on the timeline, coming in from uh, high school and stuff. All right. Um. Did you say what age you started making music? Putting out music, I put my first song at, at 15 years old. 15. What song was that, bro? Slaughterhouse. Me and Rico. Slaughterhouse. Just, Shout out Joe Budden. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's out on SoundCloud. If y'all ever want to, you know what I'm saying? That's a little Easter egg. Y'all could, if y'all could tell me a bar from uh, from Slaughterhouse, I don't know. It'll, I don't know. We'll fuck around and do a verse or something if you want. <laughs> It'll get some something, something cool I haven't thought of yet. What you going? We going we going to let him pick the prize. We are going to let him decide. Uh-oh. We going to let him do spot. that. Fucking how about how about you uh do a vlog in their city? That's different. On me. That's different. If y'all could tell me a bar from Slaughterhouse, I would do a vlog That's in your shit. city. That's good shit. No mm-hmm. for sure. That's different. They're going to be from like Omaha, Nebraska. And it's going to be that bitch uh, F&D. Let's it's going to be some it. Texas in your streets, baby. <laughs> for okay. sure. Yeah, Texas in the She's over there like, yeah. <laughs> Feel me, cold ass Nebraska. Is that shit cold? I don't know. I've never been to Nebraska. It sounds cold. I know there's a lot of corn there. Nebraska, last man. Well, I wouldn't even know what to think of Nebraska. Hmm. I feel like Nebraska. Nebraska's not country. Yeah, he I would say it's kind of country. Yeah, I feel like it's kind of so. country. Yeah, it's just so. I don't know where it's at though. To be honest with you, well, I think it's above Colorado. For real? So it's like, close. Like, if you're looking at, it like, a map, I think it's, like, above to the right a little bit. Okay. I don't know, though. Mm-hmm. Might sound like, like a dumbass. No, sh- I don't fucking know at all. So, I sound... If you sound dumb, I sound retarded. No offense. <laughs> that's that's shit. <laughs> no, that's a contentious word on this podcast. What is contentious? Uh, there's a lot of, like, debate about that word. Really? Yeah. With who? I, what's the debate? I just said it the other day on the on the show, and some girl got all mad, and I was like, I don't care. And you're like, you're a sneaker. <laughs> I'm a what? You're a sneaker. What does that mean? You don't know sneaker? Mm-mm. You will. Flacco? No. <laughs> I just mentioned, you know how, how it works, bro. You just mentioned sneaker, so you'll see on the next time you pick your phone up, bro, for real. No cap. Okay, okay. He's, he's like, I can't even explain him. He's just a person that does. He's big right now. Sneaker. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah, I'll look into him. For sure. Huh. Actually, that, that sounds a little bit familiar now that I think of it. For sure. Huh. Hell yeah. Um. All right. Getting back to the type of shit we topics of shit we keep getting off track um <laughs> that's my bad who were you listening to when you first started making music when i first started making music yeah so um we talking about 15 like when i first started putting out music yeah huh? who were you listening to man i was listening to back <laughs> then ugly god playboy cardi 21 savage who was the first one ugly god uh water made in <laughs> tokyo mm. man i was just heavy on soundcloud I was listening to all them uh, drum, uh, Dram before he had pop You know Kodak All them 
that was around like that time, that time period. So it was a real, it was a good, it was a good time for SoundCloud. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? We just we no chance, the right time you for say so. chance, no chance. Oh yeah, sure. I was on chance, heavy, Kevin Gates, all that. <laughs> but my <Yeah. laughs> no cap, man. To this gay system. he's to this day he's still listening to Gates, man. No cap. Oh yeah, really? So to this day he's kind of off the wall now, Kevin Gates. Gates. We I'm listen to old Gates. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> that video, that picture of him like crouching, doing that yoga yeah, shit. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> that shit's crazy. Suppose it's an actual like pose or some. I don't know why he, I don't know why he was doing it in that context in that instance, but it was doing something. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I mean it's definitely a pose. He was posing, but it was <laughs> it was kind of extra with it. Not facts. He was facts. doing yoga. Yeah, on the red carpet. <laughs> <laughs> He's all. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, so, did you kind of model your music after any of those rappers? Um, I would say at when I first started, I ain't gonna cap. That's how I started experimenting with my ad libs with Twenty One Savage and Ugly God specifically. Mm. Just ad libs make the song pop, you know. Or back then, at least, like you know, I don't need ad libs on every song now, but for sure, like um, I never went in the booth trying to sound like anybody else, but definitely threw my ad libs in there because uh, you know, because what I heard, you know, for sure. Mm-hmm. For sure, yeah. Um, your music, your music is really good, man. You guys, all you guys that, all three of you guys that interviewed, I interviewed today, you guys all have really good music. Pretty sure. Um, I forget, I forget what that song was that I, uh, that I told you I really liked. Fucking squad shit or squad. <laughs> squad shit. Is it was that what it's called? Yeah, squad shit. Yeah, squad shit. Yeah, that one is really fire, man. I like the video to that too. That shit yeah, was fun, man. That shit was I glass. appreciate it. I appreciate it. Oh yeah. Yeah, we had fun making that. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. who's uh who's filming your videos, except for Hey A One? Lately, it's been Don Diamond and uh, Marco knows for sure. Dan uh, filmed anything. Dan's Dan filmed anything. Dan, I have not shot. This is videographer named Dan. I haven't shot with him yet. It's just Dan. Dan Castillo. Dan the man. Mm-hmm. Oh. Dan to the L. You know, uh, he's cold. I just, it's always like, I be in the mood when I'm like, okay. Let me try to shoot with him. But it'd be like Time and shit. Yeah. It'd be like you really gotta plan in advance with him and I'm so I'm such a sporadic person. Mm-hmm. So, um Yeah, it it hasn't happened yet, but for sure I definitely need to work with him. Hell yeah. Um uh, so look what about uh up com- up and coming artists? Are you working with anyone? Up and coming. Mm mm-hmm. Outside outside the team. Man, the uh Shouts out DS two way, um, you know, DS two way, yeah, DS double A, um, oh, I can't really remember the uh, acronym, but like, you know what I'm saying? That's also family to me. You feel me? So you got Reaper, you got Max, and you got Bomani. You know, I go over there periodically. You know what I'm saying? And these are these Austin vibe. Austin artists. Yeah, these are Austin artists mm-hmm. for sure. They. <laughs> you're unique I, su- I surround people I surround myself Around people That's like You know Trying to have Their own sound Got their own craft I can relate to So like You know for I, I don't go too far Outside the family To make music mm-hmm. Really For sure That's uh Just just strategic or you just don't you just don't feel like comfortable going it's out reaching not, far you ask some good questions really? it's not strategic at all it's just like i would literally like it's a couple of austin artists i hit up for sure to work with what we talked about earlier type shit yeah, yeah it's ahead. just where we're at like you know and everybody got their own thing going on i could say oh bro i mess with this song let me do a re- uh, remix and <laughs> Like you probably not gonna hear from him. Like mm. it's just, I don't know what. I don't know. So do you, do you need permission to go in a remix? I mean, yeah. If that's somebody else's song, and then it's on top of that, thing. exactly. But, yes, respect that. <coughs> but think about like as a bigger artist type. If it's a Drake, but look, remix, look, but look, 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 look. We all get our beats from YouTube, except for we do definitely. We got somebody like you know what I'm saying, uh, in house sorta. Um, but we all get our beats from YouTube, 
And I don't care if we on the same beat. If I find a beat and I haven't heard your song, that's my beat. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But other than that, if I like heard your music and I'm like, bro, I really rock with it. You know what I'm saying? It's because I'm fucking with like how I heard you came on that bitch. And I'm like, okay, I can add to it. So let me remix your shit, you know? Mm-hmm. It'll be that type of vibe. You ever had a problem with remixing someone's song, like, without asking? Mm-mm. Yeah. Nah. I have had, um, definitely, uh, uh, like, I have this one song that I just dropped, um, b Rod Saga. I just dropped a video to it. I tried to put it on all platforms. They're saying that there's a sample in there somewhere that's used or that's copyrighted. Like, I have, like, shit like that, you know, pop up. Here and there, but like, nothing in the city. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. nothing like local. Mm-hmm. For sure, that's good. Good to hear. <clears throat> um. All right, what about uh, what about a future projects? What? You, how many uh, albums you working on, or are you just doing one? Ooh, Much. man. <laughs> what? Yes, that's the answer to that question. Bro. Yes, that's the only. That's the only way to answer it. Like. I'm solely invested into this tape, but every move I make, I'm still thinking about like the next tape and the tape after that. Okay, he's not capping, bro, at all. Yeah, it's okay. So, He'll talk about, yeah, I got this song. I got this song. I'm fuck with this song. Oh, bet when you gonna drop that on the next tape? I got nah, that. Nah, this bad. three tapes later. I got that bad. He said this three tapes later. It'll be a song, bro. That that's why I, I kind of don't like showing them new music because I feel like when they hear the tape, bro, it's not gonna be as special. But at the same time. I There's so take, much shit in that shit. Yeah. Bro. It's like when they drop like previews for trailers and shit, you know, you just gotta do it strategically. You feel me? So sure. I'll be like, bro, this go with this will go harder on this tape because these body of songs fit each other, you know. And I would have to throw a song that I made three years ago with a song that I just made yesterday because that's just how shit be working sometimes. I'll be liking how shit sound, like, you know. Differently, on different occasions. Mm-hmm. For sure. So, how many how many tapes do you think you got stored up right now? Then, like a number. Right now, I'm gonna give you a solid five, like five or six. Are you writing them all? Are you writing all your lyrics, or what's going on there? Yeah. <laughs> Here and there. Yes, that's yeah. Like, nigga, I write. He, yes, he's writing every single thing. Well, but, you know, if you're like Lil Wayne, shit, he's like, no, I got five in my head. Well, that's how we did. That's how we did mindset. Thanks, though. So you did freestyle. Wow. I walked in there. I walked in there. Uh, shout out to T Baby. Shout you know what I'm saying? He played the beat, yeah. and this just drew me in. And I finished that song in like 30 minutes. Was I there? I believe so. At where? Um, over east. At the stew? Yeah. Huh? Mind what? Yeah, at the homes too. Yeah. I don't remember. I had. I wasn't there. I, I couldn't have been there. That's crazy. Yeah, it's that's, that's crazy. Like that. That's time, bro. Like, uh, it's crazy because like this tape that I'm dropping, locked in. I probably wrote like three percent of that tape. I probably only wrote like one song on there. If that. Elaborate on that though, so niggas don't misconstrue. Like, you freestyled the rest. Yeah, for sure. Mm. Yeah, I that's didn't. I, mean. I didn't. Not you. I mean, you know. Like I really didn't write this this next tape, and like all this shit hard to me. So I'm like, okay. And then really what drew them together was like, oh, I really ain't write these songs. So I'm like, I'm gonna put them together. They all sound good together. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So yeah, y'all be on the lookout, locked in. I don't want to give y'all a definite date because we still working, but. That's crazy. Locked in, take two. You feel me? The date is not locked in. <laughs> but y'all can still listen to uh, Mixed Emotions out everywhere on every platform. I got videos coming. Stay tuned for sure. Mm. Oh, uh, yeah. What about shows? You guys done any shows? Man, this summer was probably the most uh, the most shows I've done in a year. Like, this, the year alone, I probably did like a total of like, like six shows, but this summer I had like four. Wow. Yeah, like three or four. And that was all back home. So. Any yeah. big any big names you were uh, working with or? Um, Dubbo. He buzzing in the city. He hot. Oh, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I was on the show for him. Oh, uh, that he was headlining. So. 
That's what I would say. Yeah. Shout That's out the Devo. only one. That's the only one. So far. Oh yeah. Facts. Shout out Devo. Um. Yeah. That's yeah. That's it. I mm-hmm. try to think. Hell yeah. Respect. Um. <laughs> so. Uh, all right. Coming to Colorado. Um. You know how is your how is your uh, thought process changed on the marketing, or you know what's what are you gonna do different now that you're uh, you guys leaving what in a few days? Yeah. What are you gonna do different when you go back home? Are you gonna change anything up? When I go back home, as far as the marketing, definitely nah. It's like we're we're putting into fruition what we learned <laughs> from back home, like out here. Really, that's what I would say. Uh, Cause out here I really Didn't soak up anything Didn't do anything too different besides Hand on my flyers, network And shoot videos You just you know. a different place type shit So mm-hmm. uh, The consistency is going on these Keep going on these tours Yeah, that's just, probably what it is That's what we taking back home, just the consistency No cap You know what I'm saying I was just talking to Q about that last For night sure. No cap bro and You got two choices Either go back home and do what you just said or get back in that shell and can't afford to do that because time not promised. So. Because I like shit like that. And I was just about, this about, shit fun. I'm talking like, about what? Doing three videos in a day? Man, then what, doing, coming to an interview. Two with, videos with fresh genuine, off of Man, great questions. Go ahead, go ahead. Doing two videos fresh off of a flight? Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That shit different. <laughs> Definitely. Definitely would like to just be able to just. Clock in with niggas you fuck with too, yeah. niggas you really love, bro. That's like, like this real genuine locked in love, bro. So that shit. Hell yeah, that's inspirational right there, bro. No, sure. Fucking people want to do that shit. Man, people are just wondering. Do it. Yeah, find people that you fuck with, and keep fucking with them, and make sure your music is live. Like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what he said. Nah, I mean, for real, if it's said. bad, just be like. Consistently bad, like don't just like be you drop a song and ain't no bad if you you. You gotta, you know what I'm saying. Only better than or worse than what you was before. For so, facts. You know, get one percent better every day. That mm-hmm. type of shit. Okay. Um, uh, who are you? Uh, who are you listening to now? Man, yeah, I've been listening to Dirt lately. Um, uh, Dirt, uh, Rod Wave just dropped. So mm. I've been trying to go through his tape. It's a good tape. I like it. Nah, I really, I be having Kendrick Lamar on shuffle though. <laughs> Just like his new album, all of it. Like yeah, of mm. course the new album I played that a few times, but I be having like Kend- Kendrick Lamar. Uh, who else? I play a lot of my shit too. I do that like I would find myself just repeating my songs. I've been having to get into the habit of that. Just yeah. like nigga, remembering like I go on my notes. Nigga. What? But that's the bulk of it for sure. Hmm. For sure. Um do you ever feel like like do you ever feel weird listening to yourself? I feel, some people can't really listen to themselves. I grew out of that phase. That that was when I first started rapping. I'm I didn't even want to hear my like I just said, uh, oh, because, you know, uh, well, you don't know, but Rico voice is mad deep. So I'm like, I hop on the track with him, you know, and he's so monotone and my voice so, like, high-pitched, even at the uh, at the time. Like, I was like, bro, I don't like how this shit sound. And shit, niggas just grew out of that. And I like the music I make, you know. It's hard to it's hard to believe that I, I could make a bad song, hmm. personally. Really? Like that shit. You go in the studio and make all bangers? Damn. Ten facts. Ten out of ten times. Damn. Yeah. If I'm in it, it's going to be a banger. For sure. You heard it here first. <laughs> um, but not last. Exactly. All right. Fucking. Um, what, about, uh, what about producers? You said you're only getting your beats off YouTube for now. You guys have a producer in-house that you guys are working with? Or what's going on there? Um. So like I said Mindset T-Baby had made that beat hmm. And he made a bunch of other songs That I haven't dropped yet um, It's this song I got called 88 He made the beat to that one as well Man. Yeah Finally right You know what I'm saying I'm, I'm dropping that You shooting that. a video for that? Like while we out here? <laughs> I ain't mean to be honest put you on the spot like that But nigga I mean 
Cause if we curious. if we can, like I would, bro. But like that's one of them things. Like it's not on the. Yeah, you sure. feel me? I was too. Cause I could definitely go home and like shoot that. Yeah, get right to it, straight through it for sure, sure. So no, that song is cold though, bro. Whenever yeah. you drop it, that shit. And being honest, bro, <laughs> I be having mixed feelings about mixed dropping. emotions. Not, yeah, hmm. I be having mixed emotions about making music videos a song. That's hey to any artist, y'all probably know y'all can relate. It's easier to just drop a, put a song out there than it is to. Have a song, sit on it, and then want to make a video to it. Like, Facts, because it has you know to all be in the like. You know, like you gotta want this shit right now. Like, type damn, shit. I sound different, but you gotta remember, like at the same time, like you the only nigga that heard your shit. So, talking mm-hmm. I like how you put that, bro. Okay, our new video for a whole new song. You guys really? know who Ralphie the Plug is? No, Mm-mm. it no Ralphie. Oh, well, he's part of the Stink Team out of L.A., bro. He's been dropping a. A video a day for like five months. Damn. Damn. A yeah. video a day for five months. What's his Central? name? Ralphie the Plug. That's nuts. You guys know Draco the Ruler? Yeah. Yeah. I know the name. Yeah, that's his, that's his little brother. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Talk about consistency. Now that's oh yeah. Show. And they're all fire. They're not like, you know, they're all filmed in like their recording studio or like outside or some shit. They're not all like the most elaborate videos, but yeah. a video a day. Man, that's impressive. Mm. For sure. Nigga, that shit cold, bro. That's pretty good. I got a question. How would you say the hip hop scene is like out here in Colorado? Uh, I mean, it's growing. I'm being completely honest. Fucking, it's it's growing. It's not there yet. We were talking about Trev Rich. He just got onto the Madden Madden soundtrack. Like that's a big look for Colorado. I think. Um, you know, 303 comes from Colorado. We got like a lot of EDM artists to be honest coming really? from Colorado. Like, EDM yeah. is big out here? Oh yeah, huge. Oh, wow. <laughs> Red Rocks like half their shows are like EDM. I do want to witness that. A lot of DJs. Like raves and shit. Oh yeah, a lot of a lot what of What are raves. the locations like for the raves? Like do they have raves in the mountains and shit out here? Yeah, they I mean, you ever been to Red Rocks? No. It's just like yes, the most Last beautiful outside out here. venue, yes. bro. They have big ass raves there. Okay. Like they got them at the First Bank Center. Like in uh, in Denver and shit, okay. pretty nice, yeah. But hip hop is growing right now. Um, you know, we got our we got our outstanding people, but um, there's a lot of up and coming people for sure. For sure, for sure. Yeah, I, that's why I'm kind of shining light on them with this podcast. No, I try to. That's, that's good, shit, bro. Shit again. Thank you for shining light on us for having us, bro. For you real, for me? real, bro. Real talk. Shout out Always to Street out. Champs. Come get put on. Always. Come I don't think we got into this. On. You know, I've, I've had this. I'm trying not to ask the same questions over and over. You but good. You haven't been, brother, man. Um, paying for interviews. Paying for interviews. Yeah. Uh, so, if the question is, would I like to have free interviews all the time? Yes. <laughs> but at the same time, I definitely feel like it's certain shit that you can't get. You know what I'm saying? Everywhere. So, um, especially as far as like exposure to like... You know, um, I know a big platform, so I would say um, paying for interviews. I don't, I don't knock it for sure. How, uh, how often are you are you getting charged or trying to get or people trying to charge you for interviews, like percentage so, wise? I'm fortunate enough to uh, where all the interviews that I've been to up until this point, I haven't had to come out of pocket. So, um, and that's just you know just working with people. That's on their grind on the same stuff that we are on, and they want to get artists on their channel. So, like in with people like that. Are you doing Mile High Minute tomorrow? I really want to. He hasn't messaged me back yet. For sure. I mean, or they haven't messaged me back yet. It's 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 what's one guy? His name's uh, uh, uh Brenton. He's a cool guy. So oh, I can, yeah. I'll I'll message him for you if he doesn't hit you up. But yeah, um, that's what's up. Shout out to you for that. Real oh nice. yeah. Fuck Come yeah. get put on. Come get put on. Um. Yeah, you're telling me you're with you with Wavy, I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure he'll fucking hit you up. But yeah. um, I know he charges. That's the golden ticket. Yeah. Because bro knew about him. Bro was the one that told us about him. He was like, hey, bro, get on that. Because he's like, winning. For yeah. sure, my bad, brother. But I know he charges. So um, that's Sorry. why I asked. Because, I don't know. It's a it's a completely different dynamic when you're charged for an interview. It sounds like you, you said you haven't been charged for an interview yet. But, Yeah. 
I don't think no jumper charges, so that's why I don't charge basically. Yeah, I definitely say um, it just it depends on the platform. I mean, you would know if like uh, you could tell like just you know the uploading quality, the consistency, how many people actually engage with them. Uh, if you could like vibe with them and like the people that tune into them, like you know if you feel like you could bring something different to gain some type of attention or like traction, I'll definitely, you know, I'll definitely say uh, investing in a good enough interview spot for, you know what I'm saying, you, you feel me, don't just go out here wasting your money, hmm. you know. Because you could pay that money, and not saying anything about anybody, just completely hypothetical, but you could pay that money and not get a genuine interview, a good right. interview, you know what I'm saying, but... Me? You could be free, and again, not saying anything about anybody. Get a free interview, and again, not get a genuine interview. So it's you all about who you locking in with. A real interview, show. like not these questions that you ask. It's all about who do their research, before. and not even research, but just the type of person they are. You know what's up. You, 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 you know what's up. You can say that better. Yeah. Than me. Go ahead. Yeah, like this one's before I can whack one, bro. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Nah, I ain't this gonna lie to you, interview. bro. <laughs> what? Street champs, all right. Street champs are high. Yeah, nah, Cal, get, come get put on. <laughs> for real, for real. I fuck with y'all, bro. Anyway, so. Come get put on, man. Real time. Yeah, I like to I like to keep it chill. I don't like to have too many restrictions on what happens. For sure. How'd you come up with the come get put on? Um, It's just off the, like... Yeah, I just made it up. That's what's up. Yeah. That's what's up. Fucking... It's a bar. It is. That's what I heard. You far away from being a rapper. All right. You know, I have I spit some bars. I was on this other podcast like a few weeks ago, and I spit some bars on it. For real? Mm-hmm. You confident? Did you like it? No. <laughs> <laughs> you spit it though. That's all they meant, man. It. it was they were they were going with the chat. There was like a live chat. He was semi popular on YouTube. Okay. He was getting like a hundred to hundred hundred viewers at a time. That's what's up, man. And uh, they were giving us words to rap to. And you did that. I did that. You did that. That's cold. Yeah. No, you cold. I That's... wouldn't. I wouldn't go check it out. Anyone. But a Black Pegasus. At Black Pegasus? Black Pegasus. Okay, okay. You guys, uh, is this your first podcast or have you guys done another podcast? Was it podcast? Was IDK? Nah, That's that, perfect. Nah, that yeah. was just an interview. Yeah, that was an interview. interview. But I would like, say this is my that. first podcast. Same. This is, this is kind of an interview podcast type Facts. Thing. Yeah. Podcast yeah. interview. Yeah, that's just, it's, it's, hey, it's somebody at your window, brother, man. That's my brother. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Brief intermission. <laughs> Yo, what up? Okay. It's my brother. How you doing, brother man? What's up, man? How you guys doing? Yeah, man. Shasta. Devin. Devin? Devin. Nice to meet nice you, man. Nice. Devin and Derek. Yeah, you, man. Yeah, double D like that, devil. I like yeah, that, but it's sir. cool, man. <laughs> nice to meet you, bro. Right on. Nah, this is definitely this is the first podcast for Nigga, that shit be so Tom just be going in that shit for the cow. Like, yeah. he just be. And that's a credit to him as well and his cool ass setup. But, like, nigga, this shit. Again, nigga trying to get used to this. Fit so. Okay. No jumper? He said that shit free. Falling like no jumper. He said that shit free. My phone stay falling in my pocket. I gotta find my hair, though. Because, nigga, he just reminded me. Wavy call, cause my shit off. I'm asking. Mm-hmm. No, nah, he ain't calling me. Yeah. Cool. There's fellas. All right, be safe, bro. Nice to meet you again. See you guys too. Yes, sir. For real? Yeah. How old is your brother, bro? Twenty-eight. Okay. He's uh, what is he? He's in college, right? Yeah, he's gonna go fucking. He's a welder, but he's gonna go be a nurse or some shit like that. For real? Oh, yeah. Man, shout out. You should have said that on man. Did you pause it? No, I just still going. Okay, you should have said that on the Witcher McCarley, man. That's some good shit. Well, you did technically, but while he was here, I mean, he's been on the pod before okay. one time. That's cold, bro. All right, what were we talking about? A fucking uh. Um, was this your first podcast? Oh yeah. Yeah. Mm mm. Or yes, 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 yes. Sorry, yes. You said I. What's it called? IDK. Yeah, we did. Uh, it was at. Uh, what was Flamingo. 
But what was, the, what was the event called Jay Soldier hosted? Uh, uh, pre roll? Yeah. Pre roll. It was like an open mic type thing. Everything being I'm calling everything open mic now. Let me not project. But what nigga was it? Was that the right termage for it? Yeah, the pre roll is. It started off as an open mic, but it's basically like uh, it's a showcase. Now they turned it okay. into a showcase. That's the right. There you go. You yeah, know, literally. So. You sign up for it, but. Yeah. You, you sign up for it and they pick, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, they use the pre roll um, to see who they want in the bigger event that they call the Smokeout, for which sure. is where, you know, the they bring out sure. more people. During platform. South by type shit. Yeah, right? for sure. For It'd be sure. nuts. But no, we um we locked in with IDK. That's perfect. There they have they run like interviews in the back, and they have like a a, a turf set. What was it like turf, a turf setup type shit or something? It was something. It's you sitting down and shit. You know what I'm saying? It's it's uncut as well. I forget how long that shit was. Maybe like twenty minutes. Ago. Yeah, it was brief. It definitely was no no. You know what I'm saying? Hour long ass conversation and it was cold. But nigga, this shit is cold for real for real. Like really just locking in. But I appreciate both for shit show. Hell yeah. Show. Hell yeah. Um, yeah, we've probably been going for what, like, probably like forty minutes, I would say. Forty minutes? Who knows? I don't know. I'm just guessing. I I don't even fucking know. Yeah. I don't even know when we started. To be honest with you. Exactly. What time is it? Seven eighteen, seven twenty. What time you guys got to be back up in the in Denver? We basically missed much. We missed everything. Not because the shit in the eight, right? Nah, I do like. I yeah, we definitely gotta get back while it's daylight. My so. fault. A lot. We gotta get back <laughs> while it's daylight. For sure, we could fucking we could. Start wrapping this shit up and see how long we've been going for. I mean, yeah, we got it's seven twenty. Kidding. We got two hours. An hour and one minute. Okay. I mean, how you feeling? You got anything Fe- else to ask me? I'm feeling good. Fucking. Um, I just don't wanna. Don't let me fuck up your whole. You good, you. You I'm good. chilling. Bro, I'm you, vibing. Bro. For sure. You know. We're probably not gonna have daylight though. Just letting you know that now. I feel like it ain't gonna be too dark though. You well, feel well, what time do it get darker, bro? Like nine. It's gonna be gray. We're going to get there around now. We're we still work. shooting. So I'm saying, we'll you see. cool with not having daylight? That's, yeah. that's the only thing. Yeah, we'll see when we get there. For sure. For sure. You mind if I get some more water, please? Yeah, go for it, bro. Appreciate you. All right. Um, so getting back on the topic of, on the train, on the timeline of this fucking shit. Yeah. Um, so making music. You don't have a girl. What about friends? You feel like you've gained friends or lost friends? As you've been, have you? As you've I just now got open to the idea of having friends. I never thought I had like friends. You know, I always had family. You know, cause like, yeah, I never, I ain't know what a friend was supposed to be. Cause like, you know, I felt like that stuff is temporary. But like family, like, you know, you can go without speaking. Y'all can have like the biggest fallouts. But at the end of the day, like, you know what I'm saying. That's like your blood. You feel me? Say that. So, I ain't know where a friend would come in between that, till like, till recently, like this year. You know what I'm saying? So, you got your first friend this year. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) That's fire. No. That's fire. Got my first friend. Got my first friends this year. You feel me? (laughs) For sure. That's what uh, being out to do to you. Networking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know. Facts. Uh, you'd be surprised how much like just a, a, a even mindset, you know, would get you, you know. Okay, I'm just being around like minded people. Being like around like minded people. people. Hell yeah, that's a that's a good mentality to have, you know. You, yeah. you surround yourself with uh, was it five millionaires? You'll be the six millionaire. Uh huh. Type shit. That's a great mindset to have. Oh yeah, I didn't make that up. I think I heard that somewhere. Facts. Yeah. You should lie. But regardless, right. it's still here. You should be like, I made that up. <laughs> it's still here. Yeah. He said, yeah, they're from my street channel, you know what I'm saying? That's that boy. I think I think it goes. And then if you but if you hang out with five bums, you'll be the sixth bum. For sure. You know? Oh, definitely. You are who you hang around. For mm-hmm. sure. Yeah. No bum shit. No, never that. Yeah. Can't afford it. Mm-hmm. Um All right. So <clears throat> making music. You know, your music seems kind of... Uh, your, all of your music, except for yours, yours was kind of like a little bit lighter and softer than everyone else's. Mm-hmm. But your music was kind of... Uh, you know, it's kind of rougher. Would you? How would you describe your music? Well, I'm all over the place in terms of style. Like, you know... Um, like, 
I could put out like some funky ass shit, but then I could put out like some vibes or something like. So I don't know. I wouldn't know how to describe it really, cause I can't just put myself in a box and say. I'll just say like, it's it's hip hop, you know. It's hip hop. Hmm. You feel me? Hmm. He's an artist. This it's one. Rap. Yeah, I'm an artist. He's an artist. You know. He makes art. Respect for sure. Um. So I guess uh, what's your plans now? Fucking. Now that, um, what's your what's your YouTube looking like? First off, YouTube we're growing. Um, I was you could post more. Yeah, you know. No cap on Instagram too. That's boys. <sighs> I've been I've been kind of I've been consistent on, on ours like F&D oh shit, yeah F&D shit yeah the whole team man. the whole team for sure we definitely uh we have a Instagram and a YouTube page for F and D family never divide you know what I'm saying it's literally family never. Divide no spaces. You know what I'm saying? Everything definitely, on everything. Definitely could uh, do more work on that for but. sure. But we're working on the individuals at this point because the name is gonna be, it's gonna be marketed just by seeing this type of shit. The brand gonna be marketed just by seeing this. But we definitely need to post more on the, on the conjoined Instagrams and, and YouTube, and sh- YouTube and shit for sure, for sure. Mm-hmm. What about your personal? Are you posting more on your personal or the group? Um, I post a lot more on my personal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. Cause um, I didn't. My Instagram had got deleted, so I was. I used to be on like every time I wanted to network with somebody or try to get like their Instagram. They'll be like, "Oh, your family never divide." I be like, "Oh no, nah, just you know what I'm saying. That's my that's my collective. You feel me? Just follow that. You know what I'm saying? And it's just it's better just having your own, like you know your own." piece of it like you know what I'm saying and grow off of that mm-hmm. you know cause it just make it easier on the networking aspect and for people that listen to you they can find you they don't have to technically search for you cause you're yeah. one spot type shit exactly mm-hmm. so for sure you know it gets kinda it gets kinda tough when you're working with your group because there's always gonna be that uh, Beyonce there's always gonna be <laughs> that uh, man chill you know what's crazy not to cut you off hmm. It, it's not that, bro. It's it's crazy because the fact, and it's so ass backwards to say it again, and I'm going to bring up Wavy and you, the fact that these two be doing that Beyonce and we not dropping them. We all got the capabilities to be a Beyonce, but the, it's the consistency. The fact that they, they being consistent and shit, that makes us want to be better and get to that type shit. Because again, this shit is bigger than the music. This is, we want growth from each other type shit. Not... Who who even in, in, he make it wave he make it we all make it type shit ain't no you know what I'm saying it's it's it's, it's, it's none of that that type shit but I understand where you're coming from though it's, it's definitely it, it could come off as that type shit but uh, yeah you know a lot of a lot of groups will uh you know when 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 you reach I I mean I who can I who am I to speak but from the outside looking in it seems like when a group reaches a certain success height. Mm-hmm. They start to point fingers at each other like, uh, who's pulling more weight around here? For sure. For sure. But that's the point. That's Yeah, it can't. I feel like with us, like if it we don't can't be that. Like And if we are doing it, it's to, to, to make the, the, the conjoin it better. Cause you're only as strong as your weakest link. Cause like the people the people that we're fortunate enough to be around <laughs> and call family, like how you say we're only as strong as our weakest link, but at the same time, for example, um, I'm still in school. I'm going to Houston. I've never, they never said, oh, stay back home. You really got this music stuff. You know what I'm saying? They support that. You know, they like, oh, you could still, like, you know what I'm saying? You could do your thing in Houston. Like, you know what I'm saying? We always going to be here. We fam. Like, you know what I'm saying? Is this shit bigger than all Whatever this we shit doing, really like, talk. and Wavy been going nuts. Bro could <laughs> pop man, tomorrow. Man. Any one of us could pop tomorrow. You feel me? And it's just, I don't know just how we have it set up. It's just, it's, it's not on some like, you know, like uh, egotistical type or like, it's not like our dynamic isn't built off of, oh, uh, hot artist, hot artist, hot artist, doesn't rap, doesn't rap, doesn't rap. Like, you feel me? It's, that's how I feel like. Yeah. 
Does that make sense, bro? Nah, I, for sure, for sure. Make, that makes to sense. To me, to me, because I know what you're saying. But does that make sense, though? Uh, I slightly understand what you're saying. You're for saying sure. it's uh, it's not like it's, you know, it's not like the Beyonce knows little group. We like, are you know to join it, and it's it's just all worked out perfectly because we've always not to hit the mic my bad. We've always been together. We've always been together. So it's what you see is what you get type shit because you, if you've seen us before and you knew us before like we talked about earlier you know what's up you know if we still locked in it's for a reason on the outside we already know what's up we know we locked in but if you they know what's up type shit like it's, it's like it's literally that it's like family at the end of the day like you feel me it's whatever you're doing you know what I'm saying how ever far you get even at your lowest of course like everybody else is around to like build you up and tell you like the right thing but like FND is like a family. Nigga, and don't none know. of us share not a lick of blood. No cap. Anybody? You and they related. That's it, though. That's it. Nobody yeah. else share nothing. We really. But, but we, the bond the is family. stronger than steel. No cap. Damn. No cap. That's. That is powerful in these days. You know, a lot <laughs> yeah, of people feel, are fucking. Yeah. Not sure. with that. Not for real. Yeah, everybody else, they want to. They want, like, the status behind, like, they groups a name or, like, you know. Yeah, be with this So much to the point where they will false claim another group because they feel like if they had that name attached to them, they get some type of attention and et cetera, et cetera. But it's, like, to us, I mean, and from the outside looking in, bro, you will know, like, F&D is the solid seven, eight people that's, you know what I'm saying, in F&D. How do you get an F&D? <laughs> Okay, uh, yeah, bro. No, nah, because that mean they're gonna be able to get in. If all you gotta do is sign in blue, that don't mean we gotta let you in. What he said. I wanna be FND Derek. FND Derek. <laughs> how y'all? And then we vote a lot too. We vote, <laughs> no, we, vote, we definitely. We vote that's, a lot. That's, <laughs> nah, facts. Everybody gotta have a say I'm on God. some shit. Mm-hmm. I don't, I don't know how we we still I don't know how possible that is. Now we gonna hold you down though, Derek. We gonna we gonna hold we you down. We can't we can't future. even do that, bro. Cause street champs, Derek. What I just you get doing? the F F Derek. <laughs> Family Derek. Yeah. yeah, but you street champs, Derek. What you mean, bro? You can't claim both sides. You can, but you street champs, Derek. I mean, I guess I never really claim that moniker, street champs, Derek. I just kind of go by Derek or like Derek you the see? designer. Cause but I who does designer. Derek represent though? Exactly. Mm, street champs, exactly. I guess. That's right. exactly what's. Family never divide. Mm. I can't be repping two sets, I guess. <laughs> yeah, Set trip. So, to, be in F&D, be bro, to be in F and D, bro, you gotta do a hit or something. Oh. Yeah, bro, you gotta. You gotta run down on someone. Yeah, bro. Down. No. Q. No. <laughs> no. 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 Allegedly no. In, in Minecraft. Uh, he was talking about uh. In Grand Theft Auto. What you said? Nah, no, literally. RP. Nah, mm-hmm. literally though, all, all we make is hits though. You feel me? Well, you said. gotta make a hit. You gotta make a hit. All we, all we make is hits. You feel me? Mm. Hold on. Facts. I, don't know. I, mean, I whip up crack in the studio. Yeah. That drop. Which is I just, I just whip up crack. Whore. You fuck with the heart? Yeah. yeah. I just whip up crack. Or, wait. Like, you know, not even in the studio, you just be whipping up crack? I just whip up crack. That's crazy, bro. Allegedly. In Minecraft. Allegedly. You guys, you guys ever play Minecraft? Yes. I played. What was the last game I was just on? Club, yes. Club Penguin. Yes. You were playing that. Yes. I, I tried to Not play that Minecraft, the last game. <coughs> but I never got into it. Club Penguin. I used to go crazy. Nah, nah for, for real. For sure. That shit was ignorantly fun. For and sure. RuneScape. No okay. count. Oh yeah. <coughs> I see you got like the Nintendo Switch over there and shit. You be playing that? Yeah, only playing when my now. only when my friends are over and like we got nothing. We just like chilling before a Where? show or something. Can I uh, say this real quick? What up? I don't want to. I'm gonna give an. I'm gonna just say an idea. Just seeing that with the TV right there, and that that just looks like a tattoo area. But I don't know why. People people will be seeing. I live stream right there sometimes. Okay. I don't know why it looks like a tattoo area. Food. That's cool though. Like, that'd be dope. Fucking. I don't know. I just I just kind of wanted something <coughs> cool in the corner. So I was like, ah, oh, Pokemon cards in a in a in like a what is that called? A, a not, case. A case. Yeah. I guess I could be wrong though, but. How long have you been like street champs? Uh, like ten, not, like ten months since o- October of last year. Bro. You swear this shit three, four years deep, fool. I could have sworn it was three years, man, I, bro. 
Okay. It's crazy, isn't it? For the show. No, yeah. Only 10 months. You know, we're... Good shit. We're doing like four to five videos a week now, though. Shout out to y'all, for yeah. real, for real. Keep eating, bro. It's really, it's really like, aside from the on-camera talent, you know, I'm the one editing everything, and like, we do a lot of lives right. now, which is cool. It so helps no with the workload. <laughs> oh, yeah. If three of the videos are live a week, then I only have to edit one. Sure. It's pretty easy. That's what's up. That's yeah. cool. Like, these interviews are probably going to come out, like, a few days apart. For real? Yeah. That's a bet. Not like, the first one's probably going to come out in, like, a week. And For then sure. You can't give them the entire true. sauce on air, though. Yeah, I, I mean, I like to, bro. I <laughs> fucking, because a lot of people want to start a podcast, or a lot of people want to rap, you know? I understand right. how to. You, so, so you spin that game. You, you can give them the sauce, so. but they don't have the same flavor as you, bro. Oh. You know? Like, no one could do it like we can do it. So what you, what you saying is, exactly. come get put on. Come get put on. Come get put on. Okay. Mm-hmm. At Street Champs? At Street Champs. Okay. Yep. Right, is that the, are you talking about Instagram? No, no, no. I was just asking. Oh, at Street Champs. Come get put on. For sure. Yes. All right. Is there any last words that you want to leave the people with? Man, just shouts out to the whole FND. You know what I'm saying? Every artist doing their thing. You feel me? Shouts out to y'all, especially from Austin. You know? Uh, appreciate bro having us. You feel me? Street champs. Not real talk. Bro. Y'all go stream that mixed emotions and locked in coming in soon. You feel me? Facts. Appreciate you for having us again, bro. Of course, bro. Anytime, anytime you guys are in Colorado. Real talk. Well, no, we're gonna, it's gonna be man though. We like in which you are Colorado now. Maybe I'll go to Texas one day. Hopefully, you know? hopefully. Oh, you gotta come to Texas, bro. Real talk. I don't travel a lot. For real? I don't. I don't either. I will now. I I kind of hate traveling low-key. I did, too. I was on that plane, palm sweaty. What Eminem say? Something about spaghetti in a sweater. Wait, I'm I was terrified, to bro. No cap. We not flying Frontier no more. You feel bro. me? No. Yeah, we not flying Frontier I'd rather Frontier drive. No Facts? 15 hours? Yeah, I'd rather drive. But shout out to you, man. Just, like, see all the sights and shit. That's right. cold. Well, shit, drive to Texas when you can, when you down for it, bro. We'll see. We'll see. For sure. Fucking... All right, can we get your social medias and shit so people can follow you? Um, I'm everywhere at Don Otto eighty eight D O N O T T O eighty eight YouTube Don Otto and yeah oh yeah my uh SoundCloud Don Otto all streaming platforms Don Otto Shasta Walker on everything it's S H A Z T E R W A L K E R Shasta Walker. Appreciate y'all again for having us. Come get put the fuck on this Street Champs. Come get put the fuck on. Facts. All right, guys. This has been Street Champs. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, all that shit. All right. Peace.